What is going on guys? Bank from REDX Digital. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Facebook groups to get free leads for your landscaping business. Now this works no matter the size or scale of your business. If you're just getting started and you're trying to get your first couple of clients, or if you're already an established business, you can actually utilize these groups with more leverage. And it's going to work for you as well. So I'm going to jump right into it, show you guys what I'm talking about. For those of you that might be wondering, what do I mean by Facebook groups? Well, each town, probably the town you're in and the couple of towns around you, you know, within your service area, all of them probably have Facebook community pages. Now, this is one for Barrington, New Hampshire. It's pretty close to where I am. And as you can see, it's got 3,100 members in here, which is a pretty big community for Facebook, right? So inside of these groups, there's going to be all sorts of stuff that people are talking about. Now, there's going to be a lot of garbage, a lot of stuff that we're not interested in, and you're going to have to kind of spend some time to weed through that. But I also recommend being an active member in these groups and participating in these groups because it's only going to serve you indirectly in the long run. Now, the biggest thing to understand with these is, like I said, you're going to have to sort through some of the BS and, you know, the stuff that's not relevant to you. But when it comes to marketing or really anything within life or business, you can pay with time or you can pay with money. Now, if you want to start running Google ads, you want to do SEO on your website, you want to have people coming to you, you know, go to the first link in the description. You can book a call with me and I'll tell you how we can do all of that. But if you're on a budget or if you have some extra time and you can do this and you want to continue to grow and scale your business and get leads for free, this is probably one of the best ways that you can go about doing it. So let's hop back into the group. And there's going to be people that are in here posting about all kinds of things, you know, looking for help for this, looking for a local restaurant. That's good. Any recommendations, right? But you can see there's posts like this one, which is actually a pretty decently sized business. As you can see here, they service New Hampshire and Northern Massachusetts. So they offer services in multiple states, probably a pretty big size company. They offer tree services, so higher ticket service. So don't take my word for it. This is another pretty big business and they would not be posting in this group if there wasn't value in it, right? So let's use that as an example. You know, no matter the size or scale of your business, this can be valuable. Now, there's a lot of things that are gonna be in here that we don't necessarily care too much about. People asking for help moving or local community events and stuff like that. And I still would recommend being an active member in these groups. Like there's a guy in a second, I got to scroll down to find it. But, you know, people asking what's going on with this or, um, you know, I need help with an electrician like this guy. Maybe you're a landscaper, but you've got a buddy who runs an electrician or HVAC business, right? And you could just drop a recommendation saying, hey, Dan, you know, my buddy runs an electric company and he'd probably love to help you out. So be an active participant in these groups. Don't just come in here and make posts about your business or reply to people that are looking for your business. If you scroll through these and you see something that you can contribute to, do that because it shows that you're an active member of the community and people are going to start to see your name and your company's name in here and be more receptive to what you have to say. You don't want to be in here just shamelessly self-promoting all the time, right? So if you've got the time to do it, you know, participate in these groups, be an active member, but every once in a while you're going to find a freaking gem like this one, right? Looking for a stonemason to update an outdoor fireplace. Now, for those of you guys that dabble or are all the way in on hardscaping work, you know that an outdoor fireplace, depending on the size and scope of this project, this could be worth tens of thousands of dollars, right? And this is a free lead that's just sitting here. This person has raised their hand saying, hey, does anybody know someone that can help me with an outdoor fireplace? So naturally the stonemasons and the hardscaping guys jump into these comments, but there's actually not that many businesses out here that are, you know, posting about it, right? A lot of it is other members of the community recommending people. And this is where, what I was saying before, if you're already a very established business, this can still work really great for you because out of the 3000 members of this group, if a dozen or a hundred of them, whatever are clients of yours, they can participate and they can actually vouch for you. And at that point, this starts to work a lot like a word of mouth referral, which we all know that word of mouth is the best form of advertising because if somebody, gets word from a family, a friend, someone that they know, like, and trust, that holds a lot more weight than just them seeing you post in here by yourself, advertising your own services, right? Now, something that I would recommend you doing, and this is a little bit of a cheat code, post in here on your personal account saying, hey, this is my business's page. I'd love to help you out. Here's some pictures of our work. You know, if you've got some hardscaping work that you've done or some fireplaces that you've done in the past, show some pictures and other people are going to see that and be like, wow, okay, that's cool. And just show a little bit more than just writing, hey, 
our, here's our company, here's our business card, right? Like you can be a little more creative. You can put a little more effort in than that. But what's really powerful is when you have other members of this community, maybe they're clients of yours saying, yes, I've seen this guy's work. It's great. And then someone else chimes in and says, hey, I can second that. They've done some beautiful work for us. They're kind and honest people. These are the types of things where it's like, if you are established within your local area and you've got members of this group that are also clients of yours, this can work like a charm because these are all people that are vouching for and basically recommending you. It's really, really powerful. Now, another thing that you could do and this is a cheat code. I got you. I don't think anyone else has told you to do this. So I'm dropping some gems for you guys. Take this post on your personal account. Say, hey, here's my landscaping business. Tag your Facebook page so they can go check that out if they want. Here's some examples of some work we've done. We'd love to help you out. Feel free to reach out or what's the best way to get in touch with you, blah, 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 blah. You know, be a little creative as far as how you word it, but, and then show some pictures of your work and then take the post, share it, send it to a couple of your employees, your secretary, your mom, your wife, your, you know, whoever else that you know that has a Facebook group or a Facebook page, excuse me, that could come in here and comment as well. And basically do what this person has done here and say, Hey, I actually, yeah, I know this guy too. He does really great work and get some of your friends and family to come in here, post on your behalf and recommend you as well. Really, really powerful. And I think that you guys would be extremely surprised. You know, how many gems like this one, these thousand dollar leads are just sitting in here, but people are posting about everything, whether it be landscaping, hardscaping, everything from like tree removal, brush removal, lawn mowing, all the way up to outdoor fireplaces, right? Like there's people in here in these groups that are looking for absolutely anything and everything. So take that in mind, you know, you get out what you put in. Like I said, be an active member of this community. Don't just be someone that posts in these groups, shamelessly plugging their own business. You want to be a little bit more engaged than that. But this group's got 3000 people. So if you put out one or two posts a month saying, hey, we're now taking on fall cleanup clients or, hey, here's an example of some really great work we did. Maybe you just, you know, did the mulch and pruning of some bushes at a local business frame it in a way where it looks like you're trying to benefit the community. So you can say, Hey, check out this work that we just did uh, for this local business that's in town. You know, we're landscapers and we take a lot of pride in keeping the community image up to snuff and making sure all the properties around town look nice. If you're a business owner or if you yourself at your property need help with landscaping work, feel free to reach out. We'd love to help you guys. We love serving our community, right? So make it about the community. Don't just be in here trying to promote yourself and get business because people can smell that. And they're not going to engage with it and respond to it positively. Now, this compounds over time with social proof. Like I said, if you engage with these people, if you engage with this group and show that you're an active member of the community, you have your friends and family upvoting your posts basically by also seconding you know, the quality of your work and vouching for you. And you've got clients in here vouching for you. You can see that this really starts to turn into something very powerful because other people from the group, best believe, are in there reading the comments as well. And just people start to see your name and it's going to stick. And eventually you're going to become the go-to guy within your area for these groups, right? Now, here's the thing. This is for one town, just one town. It's got 3000 members in it. I could probably pull up five or six other of these groups that are within a service area. If I had my landscaping business still, that would be valid areas that I would want to service. And all of those groups probably have a similar amount of members, right? So this can be really powerful. You can join all of the groups of towns that you service and put out these posts and engage with them in that way. Now, Obviously, again, that would take you a lot of time to do all of this yourself. Maybe you're blessed and you have a receptionist or someone that handles your book work or just someone in an office where you can have them doing this in their free time where they're not taking calls or, you know, responding to other inbound leads or scheduling appointments and whatnot. This is something that's really easy to delegate to someone else, right? Because all they could do is just log in on their personal Facebook and make the recommendation for you. Or something that I just thought of, you could hire a virtual assistant for $4 an hour to go through all of these Facebook groups for all the towns around you and have them reach out on your behalf and upvote or have your Facebook group or your Facebook page log in so they can post for your business and do it like that. Pay them $4 an hour to spend you know, a couple hours a day going through these Facebook groups and checking for leads, posting, replying, all that stuff, right? That's a cheat code. I just thought of that on the spot. Guarantee you no one else on the internet has told you to do that fucking genius. All right. So this works for residential and commercial clients. This is probably one of the biggest questions that I get from people other than how do I start my landscaping business? It's how do I get commercial accounts? 
right? Now we gotta be a little creative here, but think about this. Who are the people that we're trying to get in touch with? It's business owners, right? If we want commercial accounts, we gotta know people that own businesses. So you could just go into your Facebook groups tab, search for your service area business owners or small business owners or business owners in Massachusetts, in New Hampshire, in whatever you know state or city you're in. Now you can see this group, excuse me, this group has a little over 400 members, right? And all of these people own businesses in my area. I could make a post in this group and maybe, you know, it's statewide. So, you know, chances are out of the 400, 44 members, 400 of them are probably out of my service area. But just being present in these groups, again, making posts, interacting and engaging. This is a group full of other business members, right? Or business owners. And business owners know other business owners. If you're a business owner yourself, if you're watching this video, maybe you are, you probably have friends that own businesses too, right? So our social circles are filled with business owners. And I can tell you that the people that run businesses know other people that run businesses. So maybe not the person that sees your post in this group, but they might know somebody and make referrals. And again, all these groups are, are just referral networks, referral machines, right? So just being active, being present, posting in these groups can help you get in touch with and in front of business owners. And I can tell you this from experience. All of the commercial accounts that I ever got with my landscaping business, I got them because I knew somebody. I had a connection. I had a relationship. I had someone that I knew that was on the inside that could help put us in touch with that person or that business, right? So if you can come into this group of business owners and make friends with these people, right? Chances are you're going to be on the top of their list when they're looking for landscaping work. Now, here's another cheat code. A lot of guys are looking to also, on top of commercial work, get into bigger property management contracts with HOAs, with communities, with you know residential housing, stuff like that. So what I would do in that case is I'd go again on Facebook and search for New Hampshire real estate. Now in this, this is all real estate agents, right? Now real estate agents is a little tricky because some of these guys, you know, they're just looking for a one-time cut or, you know, to spruce up a property before they take pictures to post it on, you know, Zillow or on the marketplace, whatever. So this would be a great place as well. You can see this one has almost 10,000 members. If you were to come in here and uh, make a post or interact with some of these posts and be like, Hey, I'm a local landscaper. I would love to help any of you guys out that need to make your property look absolutely banging before you take pictures to post it. If you need a one-time cut or whatever, I can do that. But also if you have other properties, because dude, these guys are real estate agents, right? You know, they're making commission off of sales of their properties. So chances are they're talking to multiple homeowners, right? Lots of lots of homeowners, but also they have buddies that they work with that are also real estate, that, real estate agents that talk to lots of homeowners and know lots of people with probably really nice properties just like this one. So this is a great place to get in touch with people that are literally in the business of making houses look nice so they can sell them and post pictures like this. Now this lawn definitely could have got cut. Those bushes definitely could have got trimmed. This property could have looked way nicer, had a landscaper like yourself reached out and said, hey, let me pr uh, spruce up your property before you take these pictures and whatnot, right? So that's a powerful one. Um, also, I would look into like property management groups. Um, Property managers are basically people that landlords hire out to fulfill services like landscaping, HVAC, plumbing, emergency, you know, whatever issues that come with uh, the property, right? So a lot of these people, sometimes they will subcontract their landscaping con um, contracts. They'll subcontract other types of work, right? So getting into property management groups and real estate groups is a great way to get connected with people that know lots of property owners, high-end property owners at that, but also, you know, have potential contracts for bigger HOAs, you know, apartment complexes, bigger communities and stuff like that. So I know this video is a little bit lengthy. Hope you guys found this valuable. If you did, be sure to like and drop a comment for me. Maybe subscribe if you want to see more landscaping marketing content. Also, if you guys need help, if you are a landscaping business owner and you want to work with a landscaping marketing professional, feel free to go to the first link in the description. You can book a call with me and I'll give you a free consultation. We can go through everything related to your digital presence, your online marketing efforts, and we can figure out how you can continue to grow and scale your business. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, again, click the first link in the description. You can book a call with me. And uh, yeah, until next time, guys, best of luck to you. Hope you're crushing it this season and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.